Welcome to another grocery discovery. I'm Annette Reeder from the biblicalnutritionist.com and today the topic is yogurt. And I'm gonna take you on a tour of four grocery stores. I'm gonna share with you the very best yogurt to buy from each one of these four stores. I'm gonna share with you why. And last, I'm gonna share with you how to make it the best flavored yogurt you would like to enjoy. So, here we go. Our first stop here is Aldi and at Aldi you only have one option to choose from because there's only one option that meets my criteria. It is organic, it's Simply Nature, that's just the brand name, it is a whole milk yogurt and it's plain. Two things we're looking for, organic and plain. At some of the other stores we can look at a few more things to help us make a good decision but as far as Aldi go only option they have that I want you to put in your cart today. So let's now check at the next store. Now before I share with you my find here at Kroger, make sure you hit the like button on Facebook and the subscribe button on YouTube. Both of those are the Biblical Nutritionist and I would love to have you follow me in both places. So let's see what was my find here at Kroger. This is called Seven Stars Farm. This is a plain, remember that's my second word, it's organic, it's a plain yogurt here at Kroger. So this is my find here at Kroger. But I gotta share with you, I actually picked up a second one, and this is a um, simple truth organic Greek yogurt. This is not my first choice, this is my second choice. And I'm gonna explain to you the reason why at the end, after I go through all four stores and put them out on the kitchen table and share with you the best of all. So be sure you stay tuned to the end of this video. Plus, remember, I'm gonna share with you how to make these plain yogurts taste delicious. Now, let's move on to store number three. Store number three is Whole Foods. What is the best yogurt to buy here? Well, I actually came out with two, and I came out with two because once again, just like Kroger, we've got some teaching points that we need to learn. But my best pick is gonna be Maple Hill Organic. It is cream on the top yogurt made with real organic whole milk, unsweetened. So this is another one we're gonna talk about when we get back to my table. But I'm also gonna be talking about this grass grazed A2 yogurt. A lot to learn today. So here's my pick from Whole Foods. And here we have store number four, it is Walmart. And in Walmart, you once again, you've got limited options as far as what's really going to be good for you. So I walked out with the Stonyfield Organic Greek as my only option that I could choose from. Now let's go to the kitchen table and talk about why these are the best options. Now we get to talk about these yogurts that I just bought and get a little bit more in detail about what's the value of them and why you should buy them. Now don't forget, I'm gonna share with you at the end how to flavor your own yogurt. So here's one that I, I briefly mentioned and this is Snowville Creamery from 100% A2, A2 tested cows. 6% plain yogurt. Now, a couple things I wanna point out on this label. Number one, it says grass grazed. That could be any time of the year, whenever they choose to. Cows fed non-GMO feeds, that's good, and forage. But it is, it is certified that it's all A2. Now what you need to understand is A2 is historically how God designed the cows to produce milk. So all of the dairy was originally an A2 dairy. And A2 is, is not going to create inflammation. A1 is what most dairy out there in the grocery stores is made of, is A1, it's a casein. So in milk you have protein which comes from casein and whey. Casein is 80% of your proteins. And of the casein, part of that is a beta casein, which is where we get A2 versus A1. So A1 is what is not on the label, but that's what most traditional cows, conventionally raised cows, are giving us. So if you want A2, it needs to specifically say A2. So the 
what you want to understand is A2 causes less inflammation and less stomach upset. So we may not have as much lactose intolerance as we believe. It may just be we have an A1 intolerance versus an A2. A2 is historically the way God designed it. So that is one of your options. Then we have Simply Organic, once again, plain. I'm gonna teach you how to flavor your own yogurt. I do not want you to buy any sugars added to your yogurt. The ingredients should only be your milk, which is organic milk, and then whatever bacteria they use to grow the yogurt. That's the only two ingredients you should ever have. So this meets that, uh, that requirement and this certified organic. So this one does not say organic, which I really wish it would have. I'm going to have to check in with the company and see why they didn't say that. Is it just a certification issue? Is it a timing issue because of the number of years? But they are doing A2 cows, so if I had to choose a yogurt and this was one of my options, I would not hesitate. So because they are guaranteeing that there's feed non-GMO grain. So that's good, so that's a good option. Okay, then we have this Maple Hill Organic 100% grass-fed. Once again, always remember from my video before, what is my number one secret for making sure I make good purchases in the grocery store? So go back and check that video. Again, we've got the organic whole milk unsweetened. Now, typically, the, now this one's bragging about the fact that it has cream on the top. When it is less pasteurized, you are going to have cream on the top. That's a benefit. So you could either skim off that cream and reduce the fat in the yogurt, or you could just mix it in and feed your brain some healthy fats. You want healthy fats? You want to think better than, yeah, go ahead and mix it in. Again, this has no sweetener added. This is just organic whole milk and then live and active cultures. So this would be a good option. So this is a good option. Then we have, um, we have another stony field, actually not another, this is my only stony field I picked up, um, organic Greek. Or Greek yogurt is just a strained yogurt. So it's pulled off some of the fat and some of the sugar, so you're gonna have a higher density on protein. So your protein goes way up, so you get 16 grams here versus six grams in the other products. <laughs> and it's starting to rain, but I'm gonna keep going because this video is important. <laughs> And so this is still a good option. So Greek just is a strained yogurt. It used to mean other things, but today that's what it means, which is why it's a thicker, more dense yogurt. And to me, it just gives you more bang for your buck. You're getting less calories because some of the fat has been strained off, but I, and I'm getting higher protein. Now you know I'm the queen of fiber. Well, that's not gonna happen in yogurt. It just doesn't really exist. So we will add it ourselves. Now let's go on to this. This is a Simply Truth strained, so it says strained at the top, Greek non-fat yogurt. And so we go from a, yeah, they're both, a, that was 0% fat, this is a non-fat. And, and so it's pretty much similar, just different companies, one Stonyfield and one Simply Truth Organic. Now, here's my number one choice. When you, I saw this at a couple stores, but I only wanted to share it with you once. Seven Stars Farm. Now here's why. It's non-GMO verified, it's organic, it's all, it's everything I've just taught you, it's plain. But what it also has on the back is it has Cornucopia Institute, so it's top rated. What that means is, which you may not understand, is actually there was a list, and I'm going to link that down below, a list to the top rated yogurts. Because not all organic yogurts are actually becoming, um, when they tested them, they did not all have the, con the, the CLA, um, they didn't all have the omega count that they should, they had a little bit more of the omega-6, less of the omega-3, and it turned out some of our organic yogurts and some of our organic milks actually were not much better than conventionally raised cattle, you know, as far as the dairy that comes from conventionally raised cows. And so when you look at that, which is why there's a couple brands you may say, well, why didn't you pull this, this brand or this brand is because, well, I'd already read the study that showed that that brand is being raised um, in farms that actually there is no grass, you know, it's just a mud pit. And so I'm not going to name names, I'll share with you the study. And so this was one of the highest rated yogurts because it had the highest nutritional count because it truly was from cows that were being raised out in the grass that were being fed, you know, um, non-GMO feeds and they had a higher rating on the omega-3 and the CLA and some of the other nutritional value. 
That is one way that you can tell how well the cows are being raised, if they're being raised organic or not. Because the answer is yes, organic is healthier, but organic must be raised 100% organic. Some of your bigger industries, um, the whole testing process is not what I like and it's not to the par that I think we deserve. So we have to rely on other studies and other tests. So the cornucopia test, I looked at that and I'm like, okay, well that verified what I believed. And so it is definitely, this was one of the topper, topper, one of the top brands that gave us the best, you know, nutritional value. So I would choose a small farm versus a large farm. I would choose a small farm versus a combination of farms if I can. And if you can find raw yogurt at a farm near you, then stop going to the grocery store and buy it from that farmer. You know, we're already paying a high dollar for some of these yogurts that I picked up today. So why not invest that in a farmer and get the true good value of the pre and probiotics? I can guarantee you if you find raw yogurt, your digestive system will tell you, it's gonna say, hey, amen to that, we want more. Okay, so just remember, typical servings are going to vary depending on the package. So your typical serving that is just a healthy serving for everyone is just two thirds of a cup of yogurt. All right, now let's head to the kitchen. Here I'm gonna share with you how to sweeten your own yogurt. We do not want to be buying already pre-sweetened yogurt. No fruit on the bottom, never buy those, never buy the ones that have any cane sugar in the ingredients. So I'm opening up the Maple Hill because it mentioned it had cream on the top. So you may get a little bit of this curdling, that high fat being at the top. Mix that up really, really well. And then we're just gonna do a two thirds cup serving. And that will be right there. To this, I'm going to add just, just a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon and vanilla tell your brain that you are eating something sweet. And neither one are going to contribute very many calories. Now yes, my yogurt is going to look a little bit brown because of both of those ingredients. To this, I'm also going to add just a pinch of some protein powder. I already have protein in the yogurt, but I like to add just a little bit more. And I always have pecans in my yogurt. Mm, my favorite food. Mix that up. You'll notice this is a very liquidy yogurt. It's not a Greek yogurt, which would be thicker. But this will be delicious. And that, oh wait, let me don't forget the organic stevia in the raw is one more ingredient so that way I have the sweetness that I want. And there we go. So I've increased the protein. I've added a little bit more uh, essential fats with the pecans, some protein, some fiber. I could even throw in my mentabiotics, which is going to give me even more of a gut brain nutrition boost for building my microbiome. So a couple different options there. And there we go. Mixing it up with my Fisky. This is what we're giving away free for people who make a purchase on our website. DesignedHealthyLiving.com is where our store is. So there we have. Actually, it's going to be more of a soup, but it's going to be delicious. So remember, to sweeten your yogurt, all it takes is some cinnamon, some vanilla, and some stevia. And you can then add whatever fruit you want, whatever nuts, flax seeds, chia seeds, whatever you want to make a delicious combination meal. Here we have our top choices of yogurt. I hope you have one of these stores near you so you can start enjoying this yogurt today. Remember, organic, plain, and then enjoy. Two thirds a cup is a serving. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, the share button. Let people know that we truly can enjoy what God has given us. And God's recipe for excellent health is for everyone. So let's not keep it to ourselves. Be sure and share this video to everyone you know. And let's stay connected. Put your comments down below. Which yogurt did you like the best? How do you like to sweeten your own yogurt? And let's stay in touch. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com.